right, so welcome to uh, our latest edition of Check It Out, where P Dog and Philly Fresh talk about good books you should read. Mm. What's up first today, P Dog? All right, well, I'm talking about This Is Our Story. There she is right there. Foley Fresh here is the one who turned me on to this book, and students seem to love it. It love is it. a mystery. The main character's name is Kate. It's a whodunit it kind is of mystery. A, ooh. She is working with the DA. She's a high school student, and it's about this, uh, this crime that takes place with these five teenage boys, and one of them ends up dead. Lots of students are like, I cannot put that book down. Well, one of the really cool things about that book that's unusual, I feel like, for murder mysteries is that some of the chapters are actually told from the from the killer's perspective. But you don't so, know who it is. But yeah, you don't know who it is. But the killer's like, Kate's sniffing around. You got these, you know, these four other guys that were there when it happened. Mm -hmm. And, like, the whole time you're like, oh, well, he's involved in this, so it's probably got to be him. And then you're like, wait a minute. Yeah. What All do right. you got? I have another mystery thriller type book. It's called The Firekeeper's Daughter. Her name is Donis. She is an Ojibwe tribal member. Hmm. So there's some illegal drug use that leads to an increase in crime on their reservation. And she ends up involved in it in multiple ways. Weren't you saying she is sort of an informant, but for reasons of like she wants to get help for the people that she knows that are involved, but it starts to turn into this really sticky it's situation? Just, it gets really muddy for a lot of reasons. There's a lot of people who die in this book. Okay. And a lot of them are really close to Donna's the main character. And when the when the story starts out her uncle has been dead for a year and everybody thought that it was like a suicide or an overdose and she she doesn't think that and then one of her best friends dies and she's like i need to help like stop this cycle of yeah. drug abuse and violence even if it means i might die She's a high school hockey player, and she's half white That's and cool. half Indian. So she sort of feels um, like she moves in between the tribal world and Sault Ste. Marie, um, where her, her mom's family lives. She's trying to really honor, you know, like her, her tribal culture. I know in the Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian, which you may have read, um, that when he decides to leave the reservation a lot of people are really like feeling betrayed oh for sure and she so one of the one of the other things that i think is really interesting is that a lot of um tribal members don't really accept her because she's only sort of half ojibwe and and a lot of a lot of white people don't really accept her because she is half indian that sounds like so, that other book what's that other book Oh, uh, Light in the Forest? Yes. It's really good. It's definitely a page turner. And it won a bunch of awards. It's being made into a TV adaptation. Wow. So coming to uh, probably like Netflix. It's a really All right. Good story. What do we got coming on the next episode? Oh, so up next on Check It Out, we are going to preview two novels in first. Mm, I like yeah. those. We're going to do Brown Girl Dreaming by Jacqueline Woodson. And we're going to do three things I know are true by Betty Cully. All right. Loved it. Thanks for joining us on Check It Out. Bye.